Hello, my name is Nathan Voxland. I'm the creator and lead developer of Liquibase, and this is a short overview of what Liquibase is and what it can do. First off, Liquibase is an open source Java based LGPL database refactoring and change management tool. Uh, so, what does that mean exactly? Uh, it means that it's attempting to solve the problem of how do you track database changes. Uh, databases are an important part of many projects, uh, but you need something that's going to help you to track the, the changes that are made to the database throughout the development process. You need a tool that's going to support multiple developers, you need a tool that's going to support branching and merging, and you need some flexibility in how the changes are applied. For example, sometimes you may want to run the changes against the database right away. Other times you may want to output the, the SQL that needs to be run for review and later application. So how does Liquibase solve this problem? Uh, first, it's not a diff tool. Uh, the problem with database diff tools is that you will oftentimes lose the semantics of the changes. Uh, you know, for example, a diff tool will see that you need to drop and one table and create another one whereas what actually was needed to be done is a rename uh, and if you drop and create you're going to end up losing data. Uh, it also works differently than most schema version tools. Uh, schema version tools are for example the Ruby on Rails is migrate command uh, where you have a specific database version say version 10 um, and so the next change that needs to be applied is version 11 followed by version 12 and so on. Um, it, this technique works well until you run into needing to do branches um, in which case uh, merges will oftentimes run into problems. Uh, instead what Liquibase does is it stores a list of all of the applied changes and any new changes that have been applied the next time it's run are going to be executed you know regardless of the the database version there isn't a you know particular database version anymore. Uh, here's an example of the database change log table if you select out of it. Uh, the most important columns are the ID, the author, and the file name. Uh, those three values together constitute a unique identifier for each change. Uh, the, they're designed so that uh, you can uh, create an ID of any value you want um, and you don't have to worry about conflicts uh, with multiple developers generating the same ID or even the same author generating the si same ID in multiple different files. So enough of this theory, uh, let's see the tool in action. Uh, here is a sample database change log table. As you can see it's XML based um, and it does have a schema available for uh, IntelliSense. Um, it has a change set tag um, in which you specify the ID and author uh, as you saw in the unique identifier and then the change set can include a number of um, changes or refactorings to the database. Uh, currently Liquibase support, supports 34 different refactorings. Um, they range from low level refactoring such as creating table to higher level refactoring such as adding lookup table to an existing column um, or you can specify uh, custom classes of your own to do whatever logic you may see fit. Uh, in this example uh, it's creating a person table and then it's creating a company table. Uh, once, you've sp once you've created these, these change log files, there's a number of ways that you can execute them. Uh, you can either use a uh, command line tool, uh, you can use a, there's an ant plugin, there's a maven plugin, there's grails plugin, there's a spring plugin. Uh, you can run it as a servlet listener so it will automatically run uh, when your website is first deployed. Uh, there's also a uh, IDE plugin available for both IntelliJ and Eclipse. Uh, which will allow you to uh, have a, a refactor menu to, to apply your refactorings um, as well as uh, an easy way to execute your various commands. Uh, as an example of the command line, um, here you can see it specifies the the change log to run, it specifies the URL, database URL, um, the username and that sort of thing. Uh, after we run it and see that it's successful, uh, we can refresh our table list and you can see it. We now have our company and person table along with the uh, database change log and a database change log lock table that automatically get generated. 
uh, suppose we decided we, we didn't actually want to have that company added. Um, Liquibase allows a, a rollback command. Uh, there's actually three separate ones. You can roll back a particular number of commands. You can also roll back to a particular date or a tag that you've applied to the database at some point. As you can see now that we've rolled back the, the last change, if I refresh that table, now there's no longer a, a company on there anymore. Other commands, uh, you're able to do some database diffs as a, as a fail-safe to make sure all your development changes have been applied to the change log. Uh, you can also uh, generate Javadoc-like documentation based on your, your current database and any unrun changes, uh, as well as many other fun functionality as well, too. Our main website is www.liquibase.org. You can go there for our full manual, um, a quick start guide, um, as well as links to download Liquibase. Uh, if you would like, you can also contact me. Uh, my email address is nathan at voxland.net if you have any other questions. Otherwise, thank you for your time.